Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, it's springtime and it's a wonderful time. Todd, before we get started, Ben, I want to tell you about RV Unplugged Season 2. Now, Todd and I and the team have been working on this for a long time, and it is coming out May 29th this month. So there's going to be a live watch party on YouTube. You can, you can go online with the cast and, and chat with them during Episode 1. It's going to be awesome. We have a four-time Emmy Award-winning production company that put it together for us. So this is going to be great. It's going to be a great season, and NRVTA is a sponsor of RV Unplugged Season 2. So... You gotta check it out. We put the trailer at the end of this video. There's a link in the description. And all right, back to your tech tip. Here you go, Todd. Now to get your RV and get out and hit the road, and of course, live the dream. And I wanna go ahead and talk about, now that it's springtime, one consideration is adding solar panels or a solar system to your RV. You know, what's involved with that? What are the considerations? Well, here's the thing. Again, you're taking your RV out and there's gonna be limited places you can go. and one of the things you want to do is make sure that your battery is completely charged or what if you wanted to stay off grid for a little bit, maybe stop off at you know, the local um, uh, truck stop or whatever and kind of enjoy the creature comforts of life without having to run the generator. And that's where having a solar system comes in. When we're just talking solar panels, I just want to give you this information. If you're just talking solar panels, solar panels create a high voltage DC signal, right? The more solar panels you have, depending if you put them in series or parallel, the higher the voltage. From the solar panels, you get your wire. From your wire, of course, you have a solar controller. The solar controller, its job is no different than, say, you know, your standard converter. Now, the converter in your RV that charges your battery takes a high voltage AC and steps it down to battery voltage DC. That's what we call a converter. Well, it's the same is true, or the same need for something like that is true for your solar panels. You get high voltage, but it's DC. And we want to get it down to battery voltage, and that's what a solar controller does, okay? Solar controller will take the relatively high voltage uh, from the uh, solar panels, drop it down to battery voltage, and send over the charge to the battery voltage. Or, if you have an inverter or something like that, it goes to whoever wants the power, okay? It's the solar controller I want to talk about. I need you to marry those to the panels you have. There's all different size solar controllers, just like there's all different size converters. And what you want to determine is, is how many solar panels you have kind of determines how big of a solar controller you have. I mean, if you only have one panel, then a relatively inexpensive small solar controller to charge your batteries or to take care of your inverter, it's all you need, okay? The more solar panels you have, the bigger the array of solar panels, either the larger the solar controller or more solar controllers, okay? So the solar controller is kind of the point of focus here, right? When we're looking at those, we want to get a solar controller that can send the proper voltage to your battery, whether it's 12 volts, 24 volts, or 48 volts, choose the right one, right? Solar panels will take the power down to the solar controller, sends it down to battery voltage, okay? Size of that solar controller helps determine how many panels you can have. I see a lot of people, what they're doing is they're adding more panels, but they still have a small solar controller, okay? And that's like, that's like having a Ferrari and only giving it, you know, one gallon worth of gas and saying, okay, you're about to run, you know, a, a race for 500 miles. You're not going to get very far, okay? You're going to be bottlenecked, okay? So understand the size of your solar controller um, really needs to marry with how many panels you have, okay? If you want to learn more, well, there's a couple things you can do. You can go into Big Beard Battery, click on the Learn More, Design My System. We'll be more than happy to help out. If you want to learn more, the NRVTA is actually... Uh, has a solar class that you can come to where we go over all that information to make you capable of doing your own install. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, Go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're out there in the video, 
Roll the bloopers. All right. <laughs> Todd and I have been working on season one for season one. That's right, Todd. Before we get did it again. Here we go. Blah. Hello. I don't know about this. Ugh, come on, Bill. Stop being such a baby. You can do this. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be so fun. said you wanted more twists. You said you wanted more drama. Welcome to RV Unplugged Season 2. Ten couples, ranging from their 20s to their 60s. From diesel pushers and fifth wheels to travel trailers and teardrops, they will be battling it out for a chance to win the Camp Margaritaville Alburndale $25,000 grand prize and the coveted title of RV Unplugged Champion. This year, everything changes. We knew that it was going to come down to one couple. Only one couple can win. We cannot be on the chopping block. There's only one team that's going to be eliminated, and it cannot be us. I just want to say, this sucks. We've got 15 minutes. 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Tonight, there will be a double elimination. These are real tears. These are real emotions. Well, we got to do what we got to do. Nice. You yeah. conquered a fear that you yeah. normally wouldn't do. That's, That's right. a win, no yeah. matter what. That's a life win. That's yeah. bigger than this.